Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is probably going to be multiple videos. Um, I got four boxes in today, um, but one of them is actually um, three orders in one because it's a Y2K streetwear and two jerseys. Um, and then the other stuff, I don't know. Really. So I'm thinking this one's the heaviest. I'm thinking this is my Y2K plus um, jersey box. So let's see what we've got in here. Yes, this is going to be that. And it's not looking as sucky as before, but I'm seeing some stuff I already have. Okay, this is cool. Nintendo Switch. This must have been a just throw in. I, I from what I've seen now, um, they like throw in some little bonuses with the jersey option. So this is a Legends of Zelda, which is a very popular long time game, and it's a protection kit for the Nintendo Switch, which is a current model of Nintendo. So that should do okay. So that's a nice little bonus. Helps make up a little for last week's, um, the last Y2K and Jersey. Okay, so basically it is um, a Y2K streetwear, 20 pieces, and then a wholesale mixed Jersey box times two, and each of those is supposed to have five pieces. So we should have 10 jerseys and 20 Y2K. That Zelda may have been considered. So this is definitely part of the Y2K and it's awesome because I do love the big graphic tees. So it's from the movie Space Jam and I love the little neon flex on there. They're very cool. I didn't know this game was after 2000. Okay, so that was just like randomly on, but then now we're getting into our jerseys. I'm looking like I got some better jersey. There is a stain on here, but I may be able to get that out. This is the Nationals, uh, or National. It says National, but it's the Card Cardinals. So this must have been the, from when the National League plays the American League. So this is a World Series, I guess. Probably. So National and it's Ratner number three from the Cardinals. All-Star game. Yeah, the Houston All-Star game. So this is from 2004. So that's a really good one to have because this is basically um, the All-Stars from the National League and the All-Stars from the American League. Um, bite off each other so that is probably my holy grail for the box because it sounds like uh, what they do is they do one item that's really worth the value of the box kind of thing and so then that way the rest of the stuff they send you if you only make a couple bucks it's fine so this is now um, Patriots which is really actually huge down here in the keys um, they have like um, the guy that owns um, Island Dogs, um, Half Shell, Turtle Crawls, um, Green Turtle Bar, and um, that also has the Green Turtle um, Liquor and really good Charlie Max um, Barbecue. I think that's all he owns now. He used to have a burger place too, but that got shut down. So basically all of his bars um, are all considered Patriot um, home places. So they have Patriot gear. Island Dogs is usually the biggest place for Patriots to hang out. So this is Welker. This is looking really good shape. So really nice shape, 83. I hope he's someone collectible. Okay, another Jane Kelly, and I just actually found Dolphins, um, but the one I got yesterday at the Benz, or day before yesterday, when did I go to the Benz? Um, the one I got Sunday, so 
so today's Tuesday. Yeah, so two days ago at the Benz was actually a vintage um, youth. So this looks like a newer of the youth. And, okay, now this is like a nice, this is like an older. And this is the other side of that game. So I'm getting a little even more excited now. Um, because now we have the American League representative um, for 2004. Is that the same game? Yeah. Okay, so this is the same game. So 2004. So this might be a good thing to send as, sell as a bundle. Baylock, number nine. So these are almost vintage too. Okay, so yay, I love you, I appreciate you now, I, hopefully this will definitely, these two should, sold, especially sold as a set, should hopefully make up for last box, as well as cover this. Okay, this looks like Jaguars, and it's not, it's the Eagles. Okay, so this is McNabb, who's the current player. So that's good. And, it is, and I just got a, um, an Eagles Nike shirt at the bins yesterday, too. So this is nice. I don't know why they're using Jacksonville Jaguar colors, but okay. So McNabb for the Eagles. That should be okay. It's, you know, a current player. So it's kind of like... Either way, this looks like Hockey League. And it's kids. So, who are you? Eastern Conference Hockey Tigers. I don't know. I have to look up what team that is. But it's a kid. So, the kids are a little harder for me because I don't really do a lot of kids stuff. I try not to, actually. So... It's kind of random for me to be putting kid stuff. Okay, so that's okay, so two kids, two American and National League. Let's see what I, got more. I hope they didn't count Space Jams as a jersey. Okay, so that's four. This is gonna be five one I'm not thrilled about. Okay, so this is uh, the Marlins. So Miami Marlins. And this is Fuel Nation. So, um, actually, like, the Marlins, I was kind of, um, my own protest against them. For a long time after they first started because they actually the owner of the Marlins like worked a deal so that and I grew up in Tampa so they he had worked a deal so Tampa couldn't get their first um, MLB team um, if he got Marlins so I don't know I don't even know if Tampa still has I don't think they still have a, a baseball team. They have soccer, though. I used to. My my best friend in high school was an exchange student from Finland, so we had fake um, passports from Finland, um, and we used to go hang out at the the hotel bar that the Rowdies soccer team hung out at. Okay, so another kids fly Emirates. I actually have a littler one of this that I found at the bins. It's got a lot of things that need to be cleaned up on it. You know, soccer, at least, that is also going to be hopefully decent. Obviously, it's not going to be as good because it's a youth. Um, and it has a lot of peeling, piling, however you want to say it. Okay, so this is NFL, um, New York, Yeah, and this is Shockey. 
This is a really big size too. This is a large so this will be a good sale, hopefully. Some New York guys in the house. Alright, so this one should be decent. Um, this has been through hell. This is also New York in a hell. Um, New York 28. Got a special thing in there. Um, doesn't have a name. So, I wonder if, I'm going to look up and see if 28 from New York, if there was like, if it was like a, a memorial one, or if it's a, a retirement of the number maybe, because it's just weird that it's got New York and not someone's last name. So this definitely needs some more research to know what that is, plus it's disgusting, covered in stains. But I think that was supposed to be my tenth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So three. I got three kids jerseys, and this thing it's pretty wrecked, and I mean it's just pretty disgusting, and I don't even know what it's for. So, um, and then like three of them might get what they're worth because those are those are forty dollars for five pieces basically so mm, this hopefully will cover those so we will see um this one here obviously has a lot more damage to it since it's in white um put the black one this looks better because it's probably got dirt on it, but you can't see it. Okay, so now we're basically going into the Y2K box, which is supposed to be 20 items for $50. So we got the Space Jam that we already talked about. That that might... I like graphics. This is looking like Atari. And it is. It's like a nice old school Atari. Oh, this is H&M, so this is a rebranding. This is like a pretending that it's vintage. Oh, oh okay. I should have known that because it's white like, okay. Not vintage. Okay, let's see. Wolves of Clarkson. This is a sweatshirt. So that might be like a... Could be a high school team. Could be like a local minor league team no idea okay let's see this is marthy francois gribald and it says gribald on it so another thing that i have no idea what this is so I will have to research that. This is looks like it's a kind of a destination shirt, and it is the Shipyard Brewing Company in Portland, Maine. And then we've got a lobster hanging out on the beach. This brew. Bud Light Football Henley. This is pretty nice. This is Sport Tribe. No. It's Sport uh, Sportique, maybe? Apparel Company. But it's nice Henley material hoodie. It's got Bud Light Football. So that's good, you know, fall's coming up, and it's got the kangaroo pocket in front. So I like this style. It is Bud Light. Um, but it's also got the buffalo for the brand. I like the fact that it's a sweatshirt, but it's in Henley material. So I think it's a little more 
classes. Yes, I'm loving this. Okay, we got a Timberland vest. So it needs to be washed. My size. Need to have a larger size. And this is a extra large. So really nice big Timberland vest that will hopefully sell soon for fall. Um, oh, this is awesome. I kind of want to keep this. It is the official Skunk Ape headquarters. Skunk Ape Research Center. Um, Okapo, um, Okapee, Florida. Skunkape.info. And there's the big on the back. So basically the Skunk Ape is kind of like Florida's version of Bigfoot. Um, and they call it skunk ape because it's, it's supposed to smell like skunk when it comes through. So that's pretty cool. I, I, I might list it, but like kind of for high because I kind of want to keep it. Okay, so we've got polo, Ralph Lauren. I don't really get polo very much because it's kind of like the cheap brand of um, Ralph Lauren. Um, I love Ralph Lauren. Um, I'll tell you as a mom of a son that could get into all kinds of craziness, I bought my son Ralph Lauren kids clothes all the time when he was little and it comes clean so good. I mean, one time he had on these really nice, um, I think they were even linen, like linen, little kind of dressy shorts. And we went out to eat and he had rib or he had um, hot wings and he walked out and I mean his entire pants looked like a murder scene. He had just been wiping his hands from the sauce on his pants as he was eating. So they were completely covered in hot sauce. I washed them twice. There was one tiny little microscopic spot left on them. So, Ralph Lauren, 100,000%, please, if you want clothes that are going to come clean and survive your children, it is worth the investment to buy some Ralph Lauren. Because my son wore all of that and it looked brand new when I handed it down to the next cousin. And I think it's still getting passed to new cousins. Um, and it's still looking good. So, Polo, it's kind of like Walmart brand. It's not going to have the same, it's not as high a quality fabric, so you're not getting that. Quicksilver, I got a couple Quicksilvers yesterday um, at the bins. I like it. I know it's, it's more of a surfer beach kind of thing so usually Cali and like some some of the east coast it's kind of an east coast west coast surfer kind of thing I guess but I think it's more California but Florida also does it so <sighs> okay so this has got a couple spots on it um this may actually in fact with the staining that's on it unfortunately it's not a great fabric for it but i may try and do this in my tie-dye and actually turn make it become a dress because it's really long so it is what is the fabric on this it's polyester so it's going to be harder for it to hold the colors so it's going to have to sit and dye a lot longer to hold color. But it's a Nike tank dry fit. But I think it would make, it could be basically a tankini. Yeah, it could be like a, for somebody that's like a really small, we could make a dress. Or I could make it like a... The tunic dress. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's going to be interesting just to try and get the dye to stay. Alright. I don't even know how many I'm going through. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Okay, so we got eleven. So should have nine more. The next one I'm very happy for. And ah, this is also the same thing. So I'm very happy about this. My women's Harley Davidson shirts, like nobody wants to pay their value. So they can just sit in there. But my, my men's Harley stuff has all sold. Um, took a couple. So this one's from Palm Beach Harley Davidson. Some people like to collect. And it's a staff shirt. Um, some people like to collect like from different locations. Um, especially when they can get a staff shirt. Um, that makes it a little extra. I have, like I said, in women's right now, I have um, two staff shirts in there right now that are um, embroidered with the, I think it's like Miami, um, and they are the wicking material, so they're really nice. Um, here's another Palm Beach. So this is part of the Sun front logo. And then we've got the back, the genuine Harley Davidson cycle, plus Palm Beach, Florida. This is in really good shape. This is really nice. Um, and then I saw this thing. Uh, it's coming off as I rub it. So this just needs to. Oh man, more? Oh, this is Yamaha. But that's the. Oh, and a long sleeve. Yes, please. So it's Yamaha, it's the RD350, um, and then it's actually got like the write-up on the RD350. So very cool, like that. Then we've got Adidas sweatshirt, very nice. Alright, let's see who's this. Another Harley. Yes. Okay, so Harley Davidson. Um, that one's from 2005. And this is Harley Davidson of St. Thomas. That's cool. Live to ride. Motorcycles, U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, so that's been cool. Her. Because that's a destination in Harley Davidson. Billabong. Okay, and this is an extra large billabong. It's really cool. So it's like a wave with skulls underneath. Very kind of, um, kind of 60s, 70s. That's pretty cool. Right. This? So this is uh, DC. just did a pair of DC pants yesterday as well. Oh, and this, is, no, not me with tag. <laughs> so this came with the racket. So let's see, I guess, um, Goodwill, like, has a way to read these codes. I'll cut that off. Supposed to like tell you when it was put out on the floor or something. I don't know. I only go to the bins for Goodwill because we only we have a Salvation Army in the, down here in the islands. Okay, so this is DC Shoe Shoe Co USA. So DC Shoe Company USA. This is what that says. Kind of run together. another Nike shirt. Yes, I love my Nike. I got a bunch of Nike yesterday, or day before yesterday at the bin. Love the OD green. Um, I think this is probably extra large. Um, yeah, it's kind of worn out, so I'll have to do measurements, but it feels kind of large, extra large size. 
eat it. Okay, so this is Polar Bear Plunge Special Olympics. Okay, the Torch Run. So this is um, Special Olympics New Jersey Polar Bear Plunge supplied exclusively by Curetta Marketing Concepts. It's a size large. This is from February 2005. It's the Law Enforcement Torch Run for Special Olympics New Jersey. And that is like a big thing. All of the police associations throughout the U.S. Um, do you help uh, move the torch run through the U.S. and it goes to different cities. We had one recently, not recently, probably like four years ago. They actually did it in Key West. So, my son is a special or emergency communications offer, officer, aka 911 um, operator dispatcher. So, and I was a military police officer in the Army. So, is that? Okay, so the good thing about this, we have a bleach spot on the OD green right here. But I actually already planned to do some bleach and tie dyeing, some bleach dyeing. So that just joined up. All right, let's see who we got now. Um, 19 champion. So it's 1919. I guess that's when champion started. So size large. Champion. I love the gray. It's really nice. Well, we're getting close and I think we got a couple extras, so that's awesome. So we got a Budweiser beer. Um, this is the Clydesdales. It's got some staining on it. So again, this is another one that can join our it's got a little hole in the back. So this one will do some do some uh, distressing on that and upcycle it. Ooh, got some Nike Air sweatpants. Very handy because I have some Nike Air shoes and Koha Nike Airs. So these are very nice and heavy and they are a small. They're in really good shape. There's not like any crotch piling. Good job. I'm totally going on. There's like one of the guys that um, stocks the Goodwill blue boxes that's on um, YouTube. And I. Um, oh, it says 30 pieces. It says Y2K 30 piece written on it. So they gave us an extra 10 pieces. That's cool. Because it's supposed to be 20 pieces. Um, so, but yeah, there's one of the guys that actually, um, pulls for these, so I gave him a little bit of shit in my last boxes, although I use a different name there than on my order, so Miami Dolphins, love it, nice shirt, um, we got a little paint going on right here, so this one's going to become another one of our join the whatever it's called distressing land okay so we're at 28 minutes i'm gonna go ahead and stop this now because i'm thinking that i used the wrong camera okay peace out